Hello there, colleagues, partners and investors. As usually, I'm Alexander Sudarev and we are on the territory of Savelmash. In this video, we will tell you what happens if you use less copper in a Slavyanka motor than the calculations suggest. Enjoy viewing the video. Today I want to tell you what happens to a Slavyanka motor if you use 8-10% less copper in it. It will be reflected in the graphs. And we can see how. So, this is a graph for a Slavyanka with less copper. This is the efficiency power. Consequently, we can see that the efficiency is 0.5% lower. Now, let's have a look at the mechanical performance. As far as the mechanical performance is concerned, even with less copper used, everything is fine. It means that Slavyanka outperforms the classic winding for the corresponding amount of newton meters. And now I will show you what happens when everything is fine. In this case, the amount of copper is just right, so it's sufficient. And we can see that the efficiency graph for the Slavyanka motor is considerably higher than the classic motor with the black graph. And the mechanical performance is consequently better as well. The red Slavyanka torque curve is much higher than the classic motor. So, it's necessary to take into consideration some mistakes made when rewinding the motor. For instance, the attempt to use less copper and thus save materials. If you use less copper, there will be a certain decline in the performance. Nevertheless, even with the reduced amount of copper in the motor, we can achieve quite adequate motor torque performance, a bit within the error range with lower efficiency.